Hey YouTube, Drone Tech here. Our favorite outrage actor, Don Lemon, has found another horrible example of racism in America from 1993. In their push to incite more hatred and more division and more paranoia, CNN has gone looking for old blackface pictures and various yearbooks so they can continue a narrative that America is still as racist as it was 200 years ago. This time, they managed to find a Baton Rouge police yearbook from 1993 showing two white officers disguised as either drug dealers or gang members, I can't really tell, for operations in the field. Now, clearly this is not blackface, okay? Blackface is when you put shoe polish all over your face, you open your eyes real wide, you put on big red lips, and you just act in a cartoonish manner that's mocking black people. That's blackface. Conversely, this is just two officers who gotta get creative to bust criminals in a city that just happens to be a majority black. I think it's so funny that Don Lemon thinks black people are so fragile that they're traumatized by white cops with bronzer on their face from 1993 who were doing so not to make fun of black people but to just try and make the city a better place. I find it interesting that Don Lemon portrays this like it's such a serious issue yet ignores the fact that in this country 13% of the country is responsible for half of all violent crime. That would be black Americans. In Baton Rouge, 87% of the murder victims are black men, and 96% of the perpetrators of those murders are black men. That might actually provide some relevant context to this narrative. However, Mr. Lemon isn't doing any of this for the betterment of black people. He's doing this for the purposes of political propaganda. That's it. And for me, this one is close to home. It actually happened in my hometown. CNN has obtained a 1993 police yearbook photo of two white Baton Rouge, Louisiana police officers dressed in blackface for an undercover field operation. You heard that right. The article says officers were initially made up in blackface to conduct a sting operation. That operation targeted people in Baton Rouge attempting to buy drugs. One of the officers in blackface even boasted to the newspaper about his racist disguise. He said... Not only do they not know we're cops, they don't even know we're white. <laughs> I mean, ah, make no mistake, these cops were proud of what they did. First of all, what automatically makes these disguises racist? Again, if they had on shoe polish and they had big red lips or something like that and they were dancing around all goofy, I'd agree with you. But these are just cops trying to bust drug dealers and gang members. Don Lemon tries to make this argument that they should have just used black cops, but maybe black cops just weren't available at the time. Maybe these two guys were just the best guys for the job at the time. Disguises aren't great, but you're, if you're out there in the middle of the night and you're just walking around trying to look like you're just one of the people out walking around, you're going to pass. What I have a serious problem with is Don Lemon's insistence that this is racist. And there's no other way that this could possibly be perceived. And to make things worse, he starts smearing the cops and mocking them for obviously being proud of what they did. Why shouldn't they be proud, Don Lemon? They put on a disguise and they risk their lives to try and make your hometown a better place. Inappropriate then, inappropriate now. So, all right, listen. Can we all just admit that blackface is wrong and can we just stop it? I am sick of talking about it. I really am. It is a huge problem, but I'm sick of talking about it. You know who can see those guys are white. Come on, man. Good night. It's quite clear that as a millionaire in America, Don Lemon is truly a victim of the white supremacist system. It's really nauseating watching this privileged hypocrite lecture law enforcement about how they should do their jobs. Later during the segment, Don Lemon goes on to suggest the department should hire more black people to get a better representation of the population. The problem for Lemon is that they've been trying to diversify the department for years, but apparently there's just not enough black people in the city that want to be police officers. Of course, Don Lemon chalks this up to racism, but doesn't tell you that all the leadership of this police department is black. One thing is for sure, CNN and people like Don Lemon will continue whipping up this racial paranoia and racial division as long as people are watching them. Turn off your TV. Hey, thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. If you like my videos and you agree with my message, consider supporting me on Patreon. You can find the link here, in the description, or in the pinned comment. Thank you.